friends, a letter is being delivered to the Federal Aviation Agency and the CEOs and chief legal officers of all of the major airlines as well as their insurance companies, putting these aviation entities on notice that they have ignored and acted in contravention of their own federal aviation regulations, namely Part 14, Title 14 of the Code of Federal Regulations, Section 6513, and its guidance, which essentially prohibit the medical clearance of all pilots who have taken non-FDA-approved products. As you may be aware, there are no FDA-approved COVID vaccinations commercially available right now in the United States, which essentially means that every single pilot flying right now who has been vaccinated for COVID-19 in the United States is flying with non-FDA-approved products in their system. These do not issue, do not fly regulations and guidance, as they are known, clearly state, and I quote, do not issue do not fly. Aviation medical examiners should not issue medical certificates to people who are using these classes of medications or uh, products. Non-FDA, FDA approved less than 12 months ago. The FAA generally requires at least one year of post-marketing experience with a new drug before consideration for aeromedical certification purposes. This observation period allows time for uncommon but aeromedically significant adverse effects to manifest themselves. The reason for this prohibition cannot be overstated and in fact was just delineated in the federal rules I cited to you. We cannot have aeromedically significant adverse events affecting these pilots while they are in the sky because that doesn't just pose a risk to the pilot themselves, it poses a risk to every American, hundreds of Americans that are flying in that commercial jet with them. At this point, the FAA, all I can say is they have turned a blind eye, not just to the fact that these pilots are flying with newly approved products in their system that they should wait a year before allowing to occur, but with wholly unapproved FDA products, uh, sorry, FAA products in their system. Worse, the FAA is allowing certain carriers to actually mandate these vaccines.